it's time to take a look at another Yarnspirations yarn. This time I'm checking out Burnett Baby Blanket, which is a very thick chenille, very soft yarn, perfect for making a super soft baby blanket. And I am working on one right now. As a matter of fact, it's a ripple blanket, free pattern on the website. And I'm liking the way it's working so far. I've only done a few rows of it. And that one is being knitted, of course. So I have already used this. In fact, I did knit a full blanket with the yellow um, color once before on the Bernat blog. And um, when I did that, um, I didn't use a pattern from the website. I just made up one of my own. I made a basket weave um, blanket. And I did use a stitch pattern from the Bernat website at the time. And you can see those stitch patterns now on the Yarnspirations website. Um, just do a, a search for... Um, trying to remember what it says on the website because I'm, I'm not looking at it right now. Um, I really can't remember, but it's like something across the top that you'd click and it would come up with um, stitch designs. So just click all the different things across the top and you'll find it. It's not hard to find. Alright, so I want to show you how to um, crochet with this yarn while we're doing the review today because I've never tried crocheting with it. So we'll see how that goes. So let me turn the camera down a bit. Um, let's take a look at it at one skein of this yarn. It says it is 100 grams or three and a half ounces. Um, super bulky. It calls for a size 11 knitting needle, 8 millimeter, and you'll get 8 stitches in a 4 inch square if you um, knit with a size 11 needle. And if you crochet, it calls for a size K hook, six and a half millimeter. Now, I noticed on this other skein that it calls for a size L crochet hook, eight millimeter. So I'm not sure what the discrepancy is on those two labels. I don't know which one of these labels was made later, but um, I don't have here we go, it's it's consistent here. So it must be the 11 knitting needle, and that's 8 millimeters. So I think that this label over here must be correct for the 8 millimeter crochet hook, which is a size L. So maybe I'll try both today and see how they work with it. And we'll decide for ourselves. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get started with this um, skein. Oh, let's see if there's anything else on the label. Do, 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 do. Machine washable and dryable. And no ironing, of course, because nobody's going to iron chenille anyway. Uh, do not bleach and do not dry clean. It's 100% polyester and there's about 78 meters or 86 yards in each skein. So to get started with the skein you um, find that loose strand that's running from the center and over to the level and pull that out. Be sure and do that before you try to use the yarn because um, if you don't you're going to have uh, it's going to be pulling from each from each end and it causes problems. So I'm thinking that this other strand that's coming out is going to be the center strand. So this one's acting weird this time. Let me see what's going on here. That is the center strand. And this thing here, ah, oh, that wasn't the center strand. It was part of this thing. So somehow this package got messed up. I'm going to take the label off, make it easier. 
the color of this um, skein is called Pitter Patter, which is a sweet, happy color. I bought this one at Walmart the other day, and I already had the the yellow, which I got straight from Burnett. It is baby yellow. It's a sweet color, and they work well together. The yellows exactly match, so that's why I'm using those two together to make my current blanket. So now I know I've got my outside strand secured here. So I'm going to stick my finger in here, stick my finger in there, and find the center of this thing. And I imagine it's going to pull out uh, more than I want. Because this is a very grippy yarn. And so it's hard to get to the center of it. So just pull out a section. That's what happens with these chenille yarns. They're grippy. And it's hard to pull stuff out of the center of it. So you're going to have quite a bit come out. That's all right, because we'll work through it pretty quickly. All right, so I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to try... Oh, there's a pattern inside this level. The pattern is for this corner-to-corner -corner seed stitch blanket to knit. And you can also get that pattern on the website, www.yourinspirations.com. So just look for corner to corner seed stitch blanket. It calls for six balls of this yarn. And you can get other patterns there. I'm not sure if it's still made in China or not. Let's see here. Yep. Well, I mean this this ball is from like three or four years ago. So that might be different now. I don't see anything else. Alright. So let's try knitting with it. I'm going to use this vintage um, knitting needle. I can't remember what this is called. It's a size 11, I know that, so I know it's the right size, but I can't remember what this material is called. It's not plastic. It's, it's, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, it's one of my favorite needles. I love using these needles. And, um, if you have trouble working with um, this baby blanket yarn, if it feels hard on your hands, try different needles with it to see which needles work best for you. Um, and I'm happy with these plastic needles. It seems to work really well with chenille. I would think that bamboo would not work well with this yarn because it would really grip it and it would be hard to work with. This yarn has no stretch at all, just because of the nature of the yarn. It's just a very um, secure yarn. It doesn't stretch. So it'll work your hands a lot as you work with it. So just be patient with it and don't be in a hurry. Let the yarn flow in your hands. If you're in a hurry, you will not enjoy knitting with it. Take your time and let each, switch, each stitch work through. The final product that you make with this will be a dream because the fabric it makes is just gorgeous. So what I do when I make a project with this yarn is I also make a project with a regular yarn that has more give to it and um, that way if I sit down in it and my hands are too sore to work with this yarn then I'll just switch to the other and then I'll come back to it. So I'll work a few rows with this and then I'll switch to my other project and work on it. And sometimes it helps if I switch from knitting to crochet. So that's just some points for you. So it's very soft and cushy. Um, like I said, it's 100% polyester and it's super bulky um, and I think it's really more like bulky than super bulky. And it the, the um, stitches work very close. They fell out, they fluff, so you end up with a solid fabric. It doesn't have any holes in it. So now let's try purling with it. And purling is a little bit more um, tedious, of course, because of the yarn being grippy. 
one thing's for sure you're not going to split this yarn because <laughs> it is um, a very solid yarn it doesn't have any strands hanging loose when I made that blanket um, for the yellow blanket I gave it to um, a, person, a friend of mine and she was like oh this blanket feels wonderful she loved it so um, it makes a really nice gift if you make a blanket or, or hat or booties or jacket anything that you make with this it would be very much appreciated because it makes such a soft fabric so you can see it takes time so just let your hands take a break in between each row that you knit because if you compare this video that I'm making to some other yarn review videos I've made you can tell that I'm working slower with this yarn and you just it just has to be done that way I mean you could work fast if you want like if you're young and you have strong hands but since I have arthritis I have to take it slow there it works up pretty quickly I've already got um, over an inch done with just a few rows so now I'm going to knit a little so you can see what the garter stitch fabric will look like with this when I worked with this yarn before I tried knitting several different patterns to see how it would look and um, I wasn't real happy with the look of the garter stitch but I loved the look of um, stockinette but I didn't want to have a blanket all in stockinette so that's why I made my blanket in um, basket weave stitch with little squares of garter and squares of stockinette and that made the stockinette sections look really pretty and smooth with the contrast of the garter stitch so it turned out to be a good decision but of course I don't have the blanket here to show it to you now if you have sharp pointy needles like I am it'll hurt your finger as you push it down like I just was a second ago so it's probably smart to let it slide on the needle with your left hand instead of pushing it down with your right or you'll get a hole in your finger <laughs> I've never tried um, needles that were not pointy blunt tipped needles might work well with this yarn so there's that let me do another row of garter stitch just knit thank you for being patient on this video because it takes a while to knit each row love how it feels and I have a feeling that um, when it's time to unravel this it might give us a little bit of trouble since it's so grippy all right so now you can see the difference between stockinette and garter stitch and I like the look of the stockinette better than the, the garter stitch but you might like garter stitch yourself so now you've seen it knitted I'm going to unravel it, it's not so bad I thought it would be harder than this it's not so bad yeah, not bad at all so there we go, that was fast, I'm surprised I thought it would be hard to unravel that I was wrong Alright, so I'm going to use this size L crochet hook. You know, I don't even think I have a K hook. Let me see. Over here's my, my hook. 
hooks. I wonder if I do have a K. I have a J. Is that a K? Let's see here. Mm, that's an L. There's, ah, there's a K. So now I have J and I mean K and L. So I'm going to try with L first because that's the recommended size on the yellow skein I had, and it's the same um, width as the um, knitting needles were, eight millimeter. And I've never crocheted with this hook before. I think it's a crochet dude hook. It's got that good um, grippy handle on it. And it's a metal hook. It's a little bit difficult for me to crochet with this yarn. Maybe I just need more practice. I'm not used to that little short handle like I mean hook like that. It's hard to see the stitches here too, but I'm gonna make it work. So this is the L hook. It does take some patience for the first row. Usually the first row in crochet is always a little fiddly anyway. I got three skeins of this pitter patter yarn the other day at the store and um, I was thinking I needed three skeins of, of uh, this yarn and two skeins of another and I had two skeins of the yellow and then when I looked up the pattern it says you need four skeins of the other color <laughs> so dang it so I need to go back and see if they have another skein in this color. I hope they do because I always like to use the same dye lot if possible but if they don't then I'll order a skein from Yarnspirations and use that skein in the center of the blanket and that way it won't be obvious if it's a color change it'd look like I did it on purpose you know, sometimes the dye lots are a little bit off in color. Well, this is working really easy on the second row. I'm enjoying crocheting with it. So now I'm going to do um, some double, oh, half doubles. Let's do some half doubles. Let's see how that works. Oh, this is working really well. You know, I should have made a crochet blanket before with this. <laughs> instead of knitted because it's working very well. It's hurting my hand a little bit here cramping from holding the yarn so I might need to work on how I'm holding it I always seem to have a little bit of a cramp in this hand when I crochet so I probably need to um, have somebody watch me and give me advice on a better way to hold my um, yarn and fabric when I'm crocheting. If you have any ideas or pointers let me know. So I love the way this um, fabric looks when it's crocheted. Wow look at that. That's awesome. Makes it a nice thick fabric. No holes or anything. It looks beautiful. I like it. I'm going to try um, double crochet now. I think I should have used crochet before. But live and learn. Look how fast it works out too. Maybe I should look for a crochet pattern now because the blanket I'm making 
with this yarn is um, knitted. And I have a little bit of trouble knitting with this yarn because of it not having any give. Maybe I should look for a crochet pattern. I did see a crocheted um, granny square with this yarn. That might be cool. It would be so soft, wouldn't it? There's that. I did, yeah, there we go. Uh, I always do wrong with this stuff here. There. It's not so bad. If I did it wrong, I did it wrong. Right. So there's doubles. And they have a little bit of a space, but you have to force it to make the little space show through. Let's if you just see it's solid. It makes a solid fabric, and you can pull it apart to see the spaces. I'm gonna try some triples. Should have done one more chain. So it's a little fiddly with a treble crochet, but not impossible. Yeah, I, don't, I don't enjoy doing trebles with this yarn. All right, so it works best with um, singles, half doubles, and doubles. Let me try this size K hook. Let's see how it does. I'm just going to do some singles with a K hook. I think I like the feel in my hand. I mean with this yarn I think it felt like it flowed a little better with that L hook. K hook just feels too small. Yeah, definitely. This is <laughs> way too small. So the L hook is the way to go with this yarn. It's just too small. The st stitches will be so tight that it'll have a curve to the fabric. See how it curves up? And it wasn't doing that before. So. L. L is the way to go. The fabric just um, lays better with an L hook. See, it's not curving at all. That's the way. That's the right way. So there we go. You've seen it knitted. You've seen it crocheted. And that is the story on Burnett Baby Blanket Yarn. So you can find it at yarnspirations.com or at your favorite craft store. Have fun with knitting and crocheting. Bye.